A young woman's story of sexual slavery is not enough to hold the people she says are responsible. Four people suspected of holding that Spokane woman captive for a year and forcing her to work as a prostitute have all been released from jail. Jeff Humphrey broke the story on KXY.com. Jeff, how come there were no charges ever filed in this case? Well, prosecutors just don't feel they have enough evidence, at least not yet. Their alleged victim has become a reluctant witness. And in the end, it came down to her word against four suspects who adamantly deny ever holding her captive. Last week, the alleged victim went to the public safety building and told sheriff's deputies she'd been held against her will inside the Spokane Valley home, driven to nearby hotels, and forced to perform sex, sometimes at gunpoint. All the facts that she's provided, um, all the information that she's provided to, inv to our investigators, it's all matched up. The 21-year-old also told investigators that she had seen other young women in the basement of this Nora home as well. Based on the information that more people may be at risk, detectives got a warrant, raided the residence, and took four people into custody, including this man, Christopher Foster. This is not true, man. All right, 100%. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. I don't care what anybody says. Foster, who claims the victim prostituted herself, may be telling the truth. While the woman claims she just managed to escape captivity, a KXLY investigation found the victim was free and out in the community back on May 1st. That's when court documents show the victim had been ticketed by the Spokane Police Department for malicious mischief and that she could have asked for the officer's help back then. But sex crimes detectives insist because of physical and mental abuse, the 21-year-old felt she could not run away from her captors, even though she was not being restrained. And they might be free to go to the store, go shopping, but they always have that fear in the back of their head as to what might happen if they don't come back. And that fear is one reason why the victim actually lost contact with investigators last week. Prosecutors say they will file charges in the future in this case if the detectives develop more evidence. Reporting live at Spokane County Jail, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.